hi friends welcome back so in this video i will be discussing about various challenges in automating uh, using selenium this question will be asked commonly if you are going and attending any selenium job so let us understand what are the various key challenges normally which you will face when you are trying to automate using selenium the first one is you will find a challenges when you are trying to automate which is windows pop-ups the windows pop-ups are very common uh, issues which we normally face using selenium because the native operating systems pop-ups normally doesn't recognize it by selenium selenium completely fails to recognize this pop-up selenium is only meant for identifying the web-based pop-ups we have to come up with a workaround here by developing a, a different programming uh, to enable for clicking ok or cancel so that that pop-ups goes away in that only we can manage this windows pop-up this would be the number one uh, challenge which we normally face in selenium the second is dynamic elements the dynamic elements normally with the latest technology website everything will get populated based on the user information every user gets a different user screens different functionalities different roles and responsibility based on the different roles and responsibility you would be seeing different things altogether so that time it is very difficult to recognize any object when something is coming where totally a dynamic perspective that time we should use a dynamic xpath or css uh, selector for identifying the dynamic uh, element sometime even we should be able to use this contains end with start with uh, selenium functions in order to identify these dynamic elements even with this still we face a lot of uh, issues where we should think various trial and error method for this dynamic elements then the third one is timeout or sync issues this is the normally issue which we face across any automation tools in those matter because this is a common issue which we face in any automation tool when some objects are not loading properly when certain objects doesn't load properly it may take more time than your application or your automation to tool will time out and your test cases will fail so we will have to ensure to tell to your automation to you will have to wait for a particular period in order to load that page or load that object then we should call that out using various implicit weights fluent weights ex explicit weights are so on sometimes even we'll have to call the just to wait for a few seconds or then the fourth is cross browser testing the selenium also provides this opportunity to test across various uh, browsers it may happen that particular browser it may fail so that time we should use a different strategy to identify those objects by using various locator mechanism the fifth one is we cannot uh, bring a automation uh, using selenium mobile apps directly we'll have to go for uh, apm another open source tool the sixth is page loading a certain object doesn't load properly then we should provide different weight mechanism to get those objects so that uh, page loads differently for every object or page loads differently for different situation then we can accommodate that then the seventh challenge is test reporting test reporting is a very huge challenge because normally we do expect to get a better result better reporting mechanism tester by going through this test report automation report they should be able to easily identify the issues uh, coming from these reports but uh, these reports are not so much robust and also not detailed enough these reports are little complex and uh, not easily maintainable these are the seven important uh, major uh, challenges normally we face as part of uh, automating using uh, selenium i am hoping uh, this video was very useful for you if you guys really like this video then please give a thumbs up to this video if you guys are not subscribed then do subscribe thanks for watching this video bye for now take care